Hello everyone, welcome again. So it's been quite long time since the last video I made. Uh, so today we will <clears throat> learn about another PCP uh, design improvement technique where we will talk about heat distribution. Okay, so as we can see here in this picture, if we have an uh, through hole component like this guy here is a TO220 package uh, regulator. <clears throat> so the through hole we can just directly attach it to a heat sink to uh, distribute the heat and also to reduce the heat of the uh, of the package. And if it's not enough, we can <clears throat> add a fan to blow out the heat from the heat sink. Now, on this video and this tutorial, we will address the SMD packages like this power resistors, or we have here power transistor. Okay, <clears throat> these packages we cannot directly. Uh, add a uh, heat sink, for example, on top of them. Okay, even this one not easy. Although there is a SMD heat sink, but is not recommended. Uh, first, not easy to install, and also there is another way to uh, solve this issue. Okay, so let's see why there's an issue in the SMT package actually. So. For example, if we have a package, I mean, before I talk about package, let's see what is the construction of the PCB. PCB content of the core layer, which is, let's say, FR4. This is FR4. And then we have Copper layer, this is the top copper, and we have a button layer. <clears throat> now, our components will be either at top or bottom. Let's say we have our component here, sit at the top. So, when the SMT components sit at the top, so the heat needs to go somewhere. So the heat will go on this side, or will go to this side, or will make all the surrounding copper kind of hot. <clears throat> Even can penetrate, but it will reach the FR4 or the core layer, then it will stop because it cannot be penetrated. Okay, so how to distribute more heat from this setup by <clears throat> adding a copper via okay this copper via is called thermal uh, via or thermal distribution via okay <coughs> so these thermal vias can be distributed alongside the package As we know, usually we use the via to transfer the signal from one layer to another. But in this layer, in this uh, in this setup, we will use it as a heat sink or heat distribution. Okay, so be careful when we use this technique. The first thing we need to make sure that the top and the bottom layer should be at the same signal. Okay, for example, if this top layer of this package is a ground okay so it means the bottom layer should be also ground otherwise if there's any signal or anything else it will be shorted using this via which is very dangerous okay so I <clears throat> need to take care of this thing okay so by using this via the heat will be distributed but now the question is how many 
via we should use to cover the area. So by using the software, this software called uh, Saturn is free software. I really recommend you guys to use it. So we put on this is the most common VS that been uh, that the manufacturer most of the chains manufacturer can uh, support, which is 14 millis. 16 millis, uh, 40 millis for the diameter, which is about 0.5 to 1 mm, 60 millis height, which is about 1.5 mm, and the thickness of the copper is 1 millis. So if only one veer, we can see here the thermal resistance is about 50 Celsius per watt. This is per via. Every via will handle 46 or let's say 50. So we come here again. If we have only one via, only one, it will generate 50 Celsius per watt. So the more the more vias we add, the less the number. You see here, for example, if I use 10 vias, 10 via, you see the number will go down to 4.7 Celsius per watt. Okay, but for sure we cannot take this for granted to just keep adding vias. For example, I want to add 100 via, then it might be 0 0.7 or 0 0.5. This is wrong. So we need to follow. This is, uh, <clears throat> there are some studies online. They recommended that uh, most efficient number is about 10 to 20 uh, via. You see, start from very high Celsius, go down to almost half, which can see from here. 10 to 20 via is the most optimal, uh, you see, 10 to 20. This is the most optimal, uh, this number of vias. Otherwise, if you add more, we keep add more vias, even 100 via, got no much effect. You see, compare this line to this line. So 10 to 20 again here. Let's say about 10 here, so 10 to 20, uh, 25, some, somewhere there. So we can see this is the most effective uh, numbers. So <clears throat> that's mean if we go back to our design, so we can put 10 to, let's say, 20 via. Okay, so since we know we need 10, 20 via, we just need to distribute this 10 to 20 via around the package or around our package to evenly distribute the heat and we use our PCB as a giant heatsink. Okay, so after this introduction, let's go for a practical example. So here we have this SND package in my board is a regulated TO263 package. I'm gonna plant it here. Okay. Then I'm going to connect all the others, other terminals. Uh, get straight. Other connections go here, then the other one for the sensor uh, for the sorry feedback from middle out V in V out five volt and the ground. You see now the bed of this package is ground. So to to dis distribute the heat on the PCB, I'm planning to distribute the heat 
in this area in this area so I'm going to use uh, vias separate around and see how many vias we can uh, hold inside okay so as we said about 10 to 20 vias should be fine so we can let's start from but be careful guys if you want to put any via under the the direct bed of this via of this package you need to consult your fabricator first because most of the fabricators might not support this because it will trap most of the solder when they assemble it so this one need to consult your fabricator okay so here i will see how to put them i will put it like one here one here i guess that's enough i'll try to to change this to ground if it's not ground yeah need to be ground you say do you want to connect i say yes connect it okay so this is connected now this one not connected also need to connect to ground okay beautiful so now i believe <coughs> i can just copy paste them so now i have one two three four say five can copy this yes another five here so here we have ten maybe I'll put another five in the middle fifteen another five here outside and another five in here cannot I guess should be okay uh, maybe here but this one kind of far so I will take maybe three of them another group I'll bring them here yeah so I'll make sure these are all gone Make sure all this ground should be same signal, otherwise it will not be connected. You see now when we copy paste them, it's uh, you see they start to generate like ground one, ground two, etc. So make sure they are all grounded correctly. Okay. Okay, so they are all grounded now. And this also ground so it should be fine now so yeah so you can see here uh, if it's my design I will mostly do it like this I'll separate my via here I put on 5 10 15 20 or 25 via this is more than enough with this I can guarantee that the heat will be distributed not only at the bottom layer but also at the top layer you see this is because mostly the top layer is kind of big so the heat will be distributed to all these places okay so just to conclude back again what we have discussed just now if we have a normal uh, two hole like this 
TO220 package. We will just directly stick a heatsink with the fan to cool it down. But for the SMT components, usually because we have FR, FR4 layer in the middle, so it will not help to distribute the heat. So to make use of the second side of the second side layer of the PCB, so we will implement VS. Okay, but how many VS? We go to this calculator, we key in all the parameters from the fabricator about the diameter, height, and the thickness of the copper, then it will give us how many uh, Celsius, how many Celsius per watt it will be. So this one's been every one beer will be generating about 50 Celsius per watt. So I mean, if this device can supply one watt, it will the one via will be generate 50 Celsius. So if we have 10, will be five Celsius. So again, to confirm how many via we need to boot to make sure our design is okay. From these studies that I found online, most of them suggest to use the range of vias between uh, 10 to 20. Okay, number of beers, it should be 10 to 20. And um, again, here we have our <coughs> practical example where we put our package and surrounded with about 25 beers, thermal beer. With this, we can guarantee that this device will uh, distribute the heat evenly across the two layers which will help to cool down this package so with this we reach to the end of this tutorial i hope you have learned something um, please do let me know if you need any further clarification or any question just put it down in the comments uh, and always keep learning and see you soon bye